understandably, most people are looking for answers. You know, when they get on the path, they want some help. They want some understanding. They want to understand, well, what's the per- why is, why am, what is this life about? People often come to these kinds of teachings with a deeper question, what's the meaning of life? So maybe they find someone or they go and they find someone who's a so-called teacher, quote unquote, and they look to that person or they, they, they need support or they're looking for answers and so forth. And I know in my own case, when I first started out, I assumed that just because somebody was wearing a robe and they had a shaved head or something, that somehow they, you know, were the um, example of so-called enlightened being, right? And what I learned over time was, as my teacher Jean Klein said, that when there's no one taking themselves to be a teacher and no one taking themselves to be a student, then true teaching takes place. And what he's describing is that nonverbal realm of transmission mind-to-mind, heart-to-heart transmission. And when somebody is identified with being a so-called teacher, that's not what he's talking about. That's a different kind of teacher. That's not the direct path of teaching. Because at that level, one cannot, is not identified, truly, if they really are at that level, they cannot be identified with it. And they would also say, fundamentally, that they that no one really knows what's going on, that there isn't a knower who could know. There is the description of experience. And when we're having a unified field of present that's obviously here, we can talk about it and we know what we're talking about, right? So we can use language as a way of pointing out the truth. That's what, when the Zen master raises his finger and goes, this is it, that's what's happening. There's, there's a recognition of that unified field of oneness, and he's going, that's it. There's, a, there's, there's pointing it out. That's what pointing the truth out means. Yeah, I think that what we find in that, and a lot of what I've been working towards in, is in what I would call dissolving the trance of authority. That actually, the teacher fundamentally is a mirror to see the self. It isn't about them. It's not about a personality. It's not about somebody who's attained something. That's not what it is at all. It's really finding out that it's not possible to follow another human being. It's not possible to hold on to any beliefs, to even have beliefs. So that's why I often say I'm not a, I'm not a believer and I'm not a follower. And I don't attract people who are. Because once you begin to find the truth is within, then you see that the so-called teacher is really the mirror for that truth that is within here. So being in that resonant field, it's like a tuning fork, it vibrates that field into consciousness in yourself that might have been unconscious and brings you into that field. If you think it's the teacher, you're deluded. They're simply, when you meet them, when you meet into the space of awareness, they are there immediately to mirror that for you so you really can experience it. That's why there's the amplification of energy and it feels like you're getting zapped with Shakti. That's what's going on. But you're really actually finding yourself your true self. And actually, the term guru, from what I understand, actually means true self. It doesn't mean some dude up there on the pedestal, right? It really means that you're just, that you are myself. So you often hear that, you know, that's often in, in, uh, you've heard that, that phrase, you are myself, or something that you are myself, is that we are, we are the one, we are this, we are that. So there isn't really a we energetically. Yes, as people, as physical forms, there are separate physical forms. So that realm is the realm of the mystery. That's why it's called mysticism, right? Because it's not, it's not about knowledge. It's about not knowing. That discovery, the endless the life experience is this constant discovery process. Right? Learning, it's, it's the life force, is the creative force, is literally the realm of not knowing. It's the realm of constant discovery, not the realm of constant believing. Discovery and learning have nothing to do with belief. 
Learning discovery is this constant, wow, this is what's happening right now. The mind goes in and goes, well, what does it mean and how does it compare? And that's, then the mind does its thing, right? The mental configure may do that. And that's interesting, but it's not the truth.